Firms are badly managed, I think, primarily because they don't realize they're badly run. So well-run firms know they're well-run. Badly run firms also tend to think they're well-run. Basically, everyone thinks they're great. It's like that thing if you ask people, are your kids above or below average intelligence? Everyone says, my kids are above average intelligence. And why don't badly run firms realize it? Typically, they're in uncompetitive markets, uh, often having subsidies, often facing other badly managed firms. And how do you change their minds? Well, you open them up to competition. So in India, for example, if these firms that they'd started to face Chinese competition would start to improve, we sent consultants in, and the consultants took time to explain what, how they could improve, would run experiments. So initially the consultants would turn up and the owners would say, I don't believe you. You know, these things aren't going to help my business. The consultants would beg and plead. And it took about a month and they'd finally say, okay, do your stuff on, you know, these two machines in the corner of a 100-machine room. And the consultants would go and put in modern practices around quality control, performance would improve, the owners would be really enthusiastic and start to roll it out. So it really was uh, that a lot of the things were relatively straightforward. It's just the firms didn't believe they matter. And history is full of examples like this. The American car industry, uh, Ford, you know, Chrysler and um, GM, suffered badly facing Japanese competition because they didn't believe Japanese management practices matter. And it took decades of losses until they finally changed their mind. So I think belief is the most important thing. And changing people's beliefs is really the way to improve management.